Hey guys, it's Mike here with Solo YGO, and we're going to be covering my going second striker list. So let's get right into it with the aces. So we've got three ray, and I do play one rose. Uh, these are really important to see. You need the full set of ray, you only really need one rose, and to be honest, I've seen it be cut sometimes, so I might end up going that route as well, but for now, I like the one rose. And those are the only real creatures besides the hand traps, which we'll go into right now. We've got a set of Ash, pretty standard, and I like this even when it's not always the most prominent thing in the format, just because it's a generically good answer, and I feel like the more of those you have in Sky Striker, the better off you are. And then to round out the rest of the hand traps, we've got two Veilers, two Nibirus, and three Imps. Um, this is just kind of a generic thing that I'm running right now. I might change those numbers up depending on what I see at my locals, but that is what I've got right now. And then we'll move on to the bulk of the deck, which is spells. Two engage. Now this is back at two. Gotta play it. It's uh, your best card most of the time. Sometimes you don't always want to grab it because it can leave you more open to hand traps if you go immediately for engage rather than just picking up what you need, but that's a specific thing. Uh, then for the rest of the spells, three Widow Anchors, pretty standard, and three Linkage. This can help with the OTK, but really why I like it is it's an extra copy of your uh, aces, so that way you're less dependent on drawing your creatures. Then we've got two Burners and two Multi-Rolls. Even though this came to three, I don't like playing three. It doesn't really do anything by itself. I do like two because it gives you a way to get creatures off your board and pop your irrelevant spells so that way you can make your more important ones uncounterable. Then in the singletons, we've got one copy of Shark Cannon, one copy of Hornet Drones, and one copy of Area Zero. Uh, this one is limited. I personally hope it never gets anything more than limited because I don't want to see other cards in Striker get banned because it gets used as an engine again. And these two, in the current meta, I don't think you need more than one cannon. And I like the one of Area Zero, because we're also playing Triple Droplet. Now, this isn't as good against Cash Tira, but against everything else, it's wonderful. For the trick that you can fire off one of your Sky Striker spells, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, your Droplet, and send this, which can proc your uh, spell count you need in your graveyard, and the effect still goes off which is a really nice trick. Then since we're hard going second, I just main deck two Lightning Storms, and then we've got two Talents. Pretty self-explanatory. These are just amazing cards to have, and they're all spells. And then two Book of Eclipse, just as uh, an answer to Cash Tira. These could be Book of Moons, too. I haven't really had a chance to try these out, but they seem like a good option. And then my Singletons. So I play 41 cards. I'm playing Rhoda and terraforming, and then my 30, 41st card is Upstart Goblin. Um, it's mostly free, it can mess up your starting hands a bit, but I do like having this because it can help with my spell count. Then on to the extra deck, the Sky Striker monsters are pretty standard. We're on three Kagari, two Hayate, three Shizuku. We are not on Kaina, because I did manage to get an Azalea, so we're running her and one Zeke. Um, if you don't have Azalea, two Zeke is fine. Uh, I don't know how much I like her. We're going to try her out, but I, she's a Sky Striker card, so I wanted to own her whether I'm going to play her a lot or not. And then I don't play Selene. I have never had a problem getting to access code without her, so I just play two Charmers. Dark is always in my extra deck. Hita was Lina. It really depends on your meta. Hita is just good right now because there's so much Ash Blossom, so you're more than likely to have a target to pick up with Hita to Link Climb. And then the last three are Unicorn to help you get into access code, and then I'm playing Underworld Goddess. I might run Chaos Angel if I can get my hands on the Bistials. I just don't have them right now, and they'd be in my sideboard if I do, but I do like just having an answer to Towers in my extra deck. And then for my sideboard, we've got three Bell. She's really good right now, so I like having her around. Three D Barrier, also pretty good in the meta right now. Really good against Branded. I was playing Grave, but I feel like D Barrier is better against more matchups than Grave is, so I'm rocking D Barrier right now. 
three Tikabu. It's a good floodgate. It does mess you up occasionally, but it normally messes up your opponent worse, so that's okay. And then I think these are pretty standard. I never leave home uh, without three Cosmic and three Dark Ruler in my sideboard for Striker. They're really good. They're spells. They add to your spell count, and I just like having these generic answers that are super helpful, especially since anti-spell hurts us so much. Um, yeah. That's my deck. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. Me and Jay will be keeping an eye on them. And until next time.